What's going on everybody? This is your homeboy Jojo Kaiser here. I'm back with another video for you guys today. Um, a Reddit video, no less. And yeah, um, these are the types of videos that I kind of like making because, you know, I've been going on Reddit recently and there are a bunch of stories about entitled people that I want to keep on talking about on this channel. And if you guys want me to do so and continue making videos like these in the future, please let me know in the comments below. I want to be able to make these types of videos and without further ado, Let's get on with the first Reddit story. So our first Reddit story is made by MutedAd6567. So my younger brother, who was 12 years old, got an Xbox Series S as a gift from my mom this Christmas. He was so happy and thanked my mom profusely, which let's be honest, a bunch of people would do that. My cousin, who was a 10 year old male, walked over to my brother and tried to take the Xbox away from my brother. My mom told my cousin that this was my brother's gift and he responded with, my mom said I can have it. And my mom pulled my cousin back away from my brother in the least violent way possible and afterwards my aunt said um how dare you touch my child my mom said he was trying to take my kid's gift after a bit of bickering back and forth my granddad who was known for his short temper just got up and went to his and my grandmother's house the event was hosted at their house by the way my mom said that my aunt should learn how to discipline her child and my aunt said that my mom should stop raising an entitled brat and my grandmother kicked both my mom and my aunt out of the house till they calmed down. They eventually stayed in their cars on the driveway for the rest of the party and eventually left. My mom and aunt still haven't forgiven each other for the incident, which let's be honest, no parent should ever forgive somebody if they're constantly gonna let their child do something really bad. But hey, that's just my opinion. This story is one of hundreds of others that I could possibly tell on Reddit. Should I post another one? Now, personally for me, I feel like you should, especially when you have a bunch of stories of your family members doing crazy stuff. Now, I'm of the opinion that maybe you shouldn't be telling people about stuff that happens in your family, seeing as though some would argue that that's personal information that no one needs to say on, on the internet in any way, shape, or form. But for me, these stories are really interesting. So yeah, if you happen to be watching this video, I highly recommend putting some more stories on Reddit. So our next Reddit story is from Just Call Me Phil 35 So unfortunately, I cannot sleep because my next door neighbor is yelling at his folks. We like to call him Yeller. They moved into his house temporarily because a tree fell onto their house. Yeller is helping them pay for it and he didn't say anything about any trouble with them for the two weeks they have been in, in the neighborhood. Apparently though, they are the type of people that think that buying too many expensive things makes you snobby. From what I can overhear, yes I know I shouldn't be listening to it but I can't sleep because of the yelling, they have been selling off some of his things. Games and game consoles, watches, clothes I believe. Apparently they were putting that money towards groceries. So it sounds like they are not keeping that money for themselves, which sounds good. They will constantly do this yesterday and today apparently. Oh wow, apparently Yella went out to dinner with his girlfriend and was about to propose to her. Congratulations! Only when he opened the ring box did he find that the ring wasn't in there. The parents took it away and pawned it for gas money and cleaning supplies. Wow, I don't think his parents are staying there much longer. They even pulled out the your stuff is our stuff card and calling him spoiled. I am hearing him yell at them to get out of his house. Honestly? In what reality is it okay to sell off your host's stuff? Kid or not, that is extremely rotten. Think they are quieting down a bit? Hopefully I can finally get some rest now. Now in my personal opinion, if you have family members that are constantly selling, selling off stuff that you know they're not supposed to be selling off in any way shape or form, chances are it's probably best that they get kicked out as soon as possible because at that point you can't trust somebody that won't go through your personal property and then ending up doing it anyways and selling it off for their own personal gain. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Our last Reddit story for today is from Wong and Naughty. First time posting on here and I feel like this might belong here. I am having trouble wrapping my head around the situation, so maybe some of you will be able to provide some insight. I'll try my best. My boyfriend's family is not financially well off, whereas I come from a family where we were generally okay and comfortable financially. My boyfriend and his older siblings are in their late 20s and still live with their parents. I don't see anything wrong with that so far, but let's keep reading. They are trying hard to save some money so that way they can move out. They lived in the same house their whole lives and I don't go over there very often because it's extremely unkept and there are hoarding situations that we won't go into right now. Their father has a gambling problem so they are in some debt and struggling to pay off the mortgage. My parents have asked them to give them money and to also help sign a new mortgage because they want to live in a new house. 
When they refused, they said that they both aren't married, so they should help them. My boyfriend has also given them $15,000 a few years back because his mom wanted to spend it on a brand new car from a dealership. They've bought a base model even though there was one that was a few years older that would have probably had more add-ons to it. My boyfriend's mom has been very desperate for a Luis Vuitton bag and has always wanted one. The new ones now are averaging around $4,000 from the store, so my boyfriend and his brother asked me if I had one I don't use. I let them choose a bag and a wallet which are in very new condition, since I didn't really use them that much. I sold the items to them for around $1,000. Fast forward, it was her birthday, so they gifted her the bag and she completely lost her mind. She started crying, saying that she isn't worth anything to them, and how could they do this to her? She said she wanted them to take her to the Louis Vuitton store so she could choose a brand new one and wanted the experience of buying a new bag for them. Okay... She is saying how her heart hurts because she cannot believe they would do this to her and how she's not getting enough sleep. I'm literally and completely baffled by this. I just don't think that buying a $4,000 plus dollar bag is the wisest financial decision for them. And also, I would like to imagine it is the toughest thing that they can possibly count. I personally wouldn't be mad if I got a secondhand bag as long as it's authentic and in very good condition. I also gave her a small wallet as a gift. She said it was a huge slap to her face, so now even my gift along with theirs will be returned to me. She thinks I'm looking down on her apparently. It's so awkward now between me and her. This feels like entitlement to me, nevertheless, it's so dramatic. Please shed your thoughts. Well, OP, it seems like to me that your boyfriend's entitled parent seems to be, well, an entitled parent. I don't think you did anything wrong in this situation. Like, if your boyfriend's entitled parent is so inconsiderate and incapable of just taking the gift out of the kindness of your heart, maybe you shouldn't give her any gifts. But hey, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And yeah, guys, that's the very last Reddit story for today. I hope you all are having yourselves a fantastic day. I know I am. If you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend liking and subscribing to this channel for more of my dumb content. I really enjoy making videos like these, and I hope to make more in the future. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And until next time, this is Jojo Kaiser, signing out. Peace!